everyone welcome back uh we're picking corn like crazy which is a good thing i'm not complaining uh we're into the biggest patch but it may not be the best yielding patch we've got uh it's uh it's turning off okay, but nothing to write home about. It's been very, very wet here at this farm this year, and I mean extremely wet. Dra I mean, we're cutting, the belly of the tractor is just about dragging right now picking corn, but it's uh, nothing we can do about that. And I don't think it got pollinated as good, you know, push, push some of the fertilizer out, et cetera, et cetera excuse excuse but uh this week i pulled 17 bins out of it so that ain't too terribly bad uh i'm not complaining you know if it if it gets me 30 40 bins off of that i'll be fine but uh I'll, i mean i'll be happy anyhow the footage you're about to see is just I started, I've tried almost every evening this week to make a video. And it's just going to be chopped up of us picking. Uh, today's Thursday. Monday is Labor Day. I hope to start mowing hay this Saturday. That's the plan. I'm going to try to pick corn tomorrow. Spray tomorrow night and Saturday morning. And go to mowing. And I'm going <coughs> to... I am going to try to mow with the new Holland. We'll see if the clutch will hold together with the mower. And I'll, we'll find out. Grass not that thick. Mower ain't going to be pulling that hard. We'll see. Clutch has not slipped or anything. We'll see what happens. But anyhow, watch this. It's like I said, it's just, we've been picking corn. That's what we've been doing. That's why I've not been putting up that many videos because my goodness, I'm tired of picking it and I'm sure you guys will be tired of watching it. So anyhow, uh, that's what we're doing. Today we're starting on a new patch of corn. This is uh, the single biggest planting we've got. like I said the single biggest planting we got and uh, I have we've not got we've not picked anything so what we're trying to do is get started a little early when the corn is not real mature but uh, mature enough that way we can uh, sorry I'm getting my bands here that way we can uh, it gives us a little more time to pick it now because we're starting a little early it's not going to be as uniform so I'm going to have to it's going to be a little slower but if I wait till it's ready I'm afraid that I won't get through it before some of it goes bad on me. And uh, we've got this three acres and then two acres right behind it. So we're a little past halfway total, but this is going to be our hardest run in corn. Uh, without doubt. Just because of the volume we got to get picked and uh the next uh basically two weeks uh usually i can, I can pick a patch of corn for about a week a week to ten days depending on the variety depending on the weather some varieties hold better in the field uh you know if the weather's cool it won't mature as fast you, you know there's there's a couple factors go into that uh so uh well, I'm trying to do stretch it out closer to two weeks. That means I have to pick an acre and a half a week, which is doable. And then uh, 
the 10 days following that I have to get another uh, two acres. So I'm gonna get started on it and we're gonna see how it goes. Yesterday we started in on uh, planting number four of the corn, our biggest single planting. And uh, we just picked a little, it's just barely ready to start picking. We're having to hunt and look for mature ears. And uh, we just picked a couple bins yesterday and then we come back this evening. It's getting there. And uh, we picked two bins so far, about two and a half. And then the rain showed up. But, uh, We're, uh, we're trying to wait it out. Anyhow, this is uh, next three weeks, two and a half, three weeks, will be the hardest stretch of the year for us. We'll, uh, we'll be trying to pull this larger section of corn. We'll be starting pumpkins. And we got 12,000 strawberry plants coming that we gotta get in the ground. Uh, on top of all that, we really need to be putting up hay. Weather won't cooperate. So, uh, yeah, this is the the stretch of the year that we're uh, either make it or break it. And, uh, you know, it's going to be tough. Roll that window back down a little bit. That's good. So, uh, that's what we're doing. It, uh, you know, Normally we pick in the rain. It's just, that's a little excessive. And uh, I think one, one issue as we move into uh, the peak of harvest is we're tired. We've been going for a while this year and uh, we're tired. We're, uh, and we got a pretty good ways to go yet, so. You know, it's, uh, it is what it is. But we've got, uh, we've got quite a bit of corn to pick. Uh, this corn's pretty good. I don't know whether it's as good as some of the early we've had, but it's still good. And uh, so far, so good as far as the yield goes. So, uh, you know, the goal is to get it picked, get it sold, so. We've still got a market. There's still big demand for it. And uh, prices are still holding pretty good. So as long as those things are in place, we're gonna keep picking. Uh, but anyhow, that's that's where we're at. And uh, we'll get back to it here. See if we can like to pick at least, we got two and a half bins picked. I'd like to pick at least four bins. So we got about a bin and a half to go. So maybe it'll quit raining here in a minute. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video. See a video you like, give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, if you have a question or a comment, please do so. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.